and welcome. This is Nasreen Sheikh and you're watching It's Tomorrow News. Eyes on Lunar South Pole may have more than one source. Researchers have shed light on the ages of ice deposit reported in the area of the Moon's South Pole, information that could help identify the sources of the deposit and help in planning future human exploration. The study published in the journal Acura suggests that while a majority of those deposits are likely billions of years old, some may be much more recent, the ages of these deposits can potentially tell us something about the origin of the ice, which helps us understand the source and distribution of water in the inner solar system. For the study, Deutsch worked with Professor Jim Head and Gregory Newman from the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center using data from NASA's Lunar Orbiter, which has been orbiting the moon since 2009. The researchers looked at the ages of the large craters in which evidence of South Pole ice deposits was found. To date, the creators, researchers count the number of smaller creatures that have occurred inside the larger ones. Scientists have an approximate idea of the pace of impact over time. So counting creators can help establish the ages of terrains. The majority of the reported ice deposits are found within large craters formed about 3.1 billion years ago or longer, the study found. The deposit have a patchy distribution across crater floors, which suggests that the ice has been battered by micrometeorite impacts and other debris over a long period of time. If those reported ice deposits are indeed ancient, that could have significant implications in terms of exploration and potential resource utilization, the researchers said. While the majority of ice was in the ancient craters, the researchers also found evidence of ice in smaller craters that judging by their sharp, well-defined features appear to be quite fresh. This suggests that some of the deposits of the South Pole got three relatively recently. The best way to find out for sure is to send spacecraft to get some samples which event appears to be on the horizon. NASA's Artemis program aims to put humans on the moon by 2024 and plans to fly numerous precursor missions with robotic spacecraft in the meantime. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's Tomorrow News, Nasreen Sheikh. For more weather updates, do like, share and subscribe our channel.